Hello, it's Melanie from Dogs & Co. And at last I have the results of the product testing for the Whopper Ball from Ankle. Now I apologise it has taken me so long to get this together, but life gets in the way. So here we are, the Whopper Ball by Ankle. Let me just remind you about it. This is what Ankle say about their Whopper Ball. The Whopper Ball is a big ball, perfect for larger dogs. The Whopper Ball is ideal for throwing, chasing and tugging for interactive play. So it's a soft fabric, well stuffed inner with a plastic cage, no squeaker. What we asked our three testers and their dogs to do was, first of all, did they like it? Did the dogs like it? Did they want to play with it? Uh, does it comply with what Ankle claims? Does it live up to their expectations? Would they recommend it to their friends and family and anything else they could tell us about it? So here we go. And the first dog with its report is Ted the Lakeland Terrier. So Ted the Lakeland Terrier. This is what he says about the Whopper Ball. The ball arrived on Saturday and immediately Ted was desperate to get into the jiffy bag. So much fun already. Sniffing and investigating before the play even began, Ted spent about 30 minutes scrunching the ball and gnawing at the rubber cage before taking a breather. He was exhausted. Now, they did take it down the beach because we'd asked people to, to let us know if it floats or not. It does. That's the good news. So they are going to be using the Dwarfer ball now as an alternative in winter to tennis balls and the, ball, and the um, launchers. They say because it's turning cooler and windier, it's a little bit heavier, it, it's easier to use. And uh, so yeah, a, a big success there with Ted the Lakeland Terrier. Now, one thing they did say, Ted, um, his, his teeth are quite worn, he's not a young chap, bless him, and he still managed to get some stitching apart. So they recommended that perhaps Ankle should look at perhaps a fire hose material instead of the, uh, instead of the fabric. We should make it that little bit stronger. But overall, they absolutely loved it. So next up in our testers is Zinni, the flat coat retriever, and her sister Kia, or Kaya, I apologise if I'm not saying it right, who is a collie. Let's see how they got on. From Zinni and from Kia or Kaya, we have the product does meet the manufacturer's description and claims, and they think it's a great toy and good value for money. They would certainly recommend it and purchase it. The dogs absolutely loved it, and she says it was a huge hit, and it's the first toy that they go for in their toy box. She said a couple of things. She said because there's only one handle, uh, the cage, it wasn't easy to play tuggy with for either the dogs between them or for her because with one gripping the handle there's nowhere else really for anyone else to, to grip. But she said apart from that they absolutely loved it and again she she got quite big dogs and the stitching wasn't brilliant but overall they loved it. And finally, we have Pogo the Springer. Right, Pogo the Springer says, uh, we love this toy, it's all round perfect. It has held up to Pogo's chew test, which is fantastic, and it even floats. It's a great fun for the, be for the beach. It meets and beats our expectations and will be our new favorite toy for beach adventures. Now what, Pogo's mum says is unlike soft toys when they go down the beach and it gets into the water the dog brings it out of the water the dog then gets a mouthful of salt water which obviously is not brilliant for them and can make them an, a, a little unwell this because of the cage means the dog isn't squeezing all that water into its own mouth really good point thank you Pogo uh, what else? They've also said that um, they suggest that maybe make it in a smaller size for smaller dogs would also be useful. They didn't, the dog didn't destroy it, didn't chew it. Absolutely perfect for Springers. So thank you very much, Pogo the Springer.
Now we have the results of our product test for the Ankol Whopper Ball. We asked our testers four basic questions and to give them marks out of 10, we then collated all of those to give one overall score at the end. So the first question was, uh, is the product fit for purpose? Does it last? And eight out of 10 for that, because there was some issues with uh, bits being chewed, uh, the, the inner fabric loose at the seams um, after a bit of rough play, etc. The second question is, was it as described by the manufacturer? Again, there was a little bit of issues with, was it actually suitable for tugging and that sort of thing? So again, eight out of 10. Third question was, did you like the product? Was it as good as you hoped it would be? Absolutely, 10 out of 10 for that. Everybody said it was as good as they hoped, if not better. And lastly, did your dog like the product? Again, 10 out of 10. All the dogs in the test absolutely loved the Ankol Whopper Ball. So the overall score is 36 out of 40, which falls into the good category. So I think we can safely say that the Whopper Ball by Ankol is a winner. I hope you enjoyed our product test today. If you would like to take part in future product testing, then join our Facebook group, Dogs & Co. We're all about dogs. It's a fun, lively group full of uh, advice, chat, uh, competitions, giveaways, and of course our product testing opportunities. We hope to see you there. Thank you very much for listening. Till next time, thank you, bye-bye.